Hey guys, this is Swordfish. Today I'm playing Minecraft on the Ender Empire server. I'm in the middle of the desert here, with a village, and there's a temple somewhere that I ran past. Because I've been working on my squid farm. There was a zombie over there, I swear. I've been working on my squid farm. Which, um... <laughs> Is a little wacky if you can see there's an ender chest and because oh crap there's lava too so let's not do that again um which i'd be a little more excited about if it worked which it doesn't there's no squid spawning and i'm not sure why um but i spent a lot of time last night working on it and i got really frustrated and i rage quit and went to sleep and i woke up and i still don't know why it's not working but it, it, this stuff is could be could obviously be cleaned up um but yeah i don't know so that's what you're gonna see today i just wanted to give this intro to make sure that you please don't please 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 don't use this video as a tutorial because <clears throat> one is gonna be a ridiculous jumbled mess because i am the most rookie survival builder ever i forgot to bring a bed i forgot to light it up with torches i just for basically forgot to do everything you need to do to make a build in survival um and and yeah so that's not great <laughs> so don't so don't do that i i recommend you don't do that um so i'm gonna let it roll for wait, what's that xp down there is that the zombie I killed? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let that let that footage roll, and you can see exactly what a botched mess I made of this build. Sort of. I, I mean, I think it should still work even, but whatever. And then also, <clears throat> before we go, I'd like to say if any of you have an idea after of of what's wrong with it, please leave it in the comments. And also, if you guys are on the server, here's the coordinates. Um, Come fix it. I'd be really, really grateful if you came and fixed it. Because I'm not quite sure why it doesn't work. So, yeah. Either way, that'd be awesome of you. And uh, now you get to see what the problem is. So, I'll talk to you guys when it's done. Now, I'm not sure if... Uh, if you're familiar with how to build a squid farm. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. These are my squidly ingredients. Might not be totally obvious at first, but I promise that's what it's going to be. Um, the basic concept for the squid farm that I'm making is a floor of hoppers, and then a big, uh, a big spawning area, a big spawning area for squid with pillars and water that drags them down. They fall onto lava on the hopper floor they die the ink gets sucked up by the hoppers they go into a chest and voila you have ink sacs we're looking for inks i want to get ink sacs because i'm trying to dye a whole bunch of clay that's the reason we're doing it um and also i thought it'd be an interesting project it's something i have never done before um and i wanted to do a community thing on the ender empire server i was just uh, while i was Preparing to do this, I uh, I enchanted I enchanted some more stuff. I know I showed the um, X Men's and uh, Enderman farm. I enchanted a bunch more stuff. That now, as if they did we did, had didn't have enough community stuff. There is a um, a chest full of books for every enchantment, which is just awesome. People just sit have been just sitting there and. Um, They've just been sitting there and making enchanting books and putting them in the chest for people. And, you know, it's take a book, leave a book. Um, it's so cool. There's a little more work done on this. Um, MCV Adrenaline, he's not on right now. He's been working on this. Looks way better than it did before. It was just a mess. Now it's like there's some kind of structure to it. Looking for Sapiko's Tunnel. Um, oh, hey, my, hello. Hello. Everybody looks at me funny. I don't have a skin yet. Um, which is kind of silly. I've been meaning to get a skin for a while. Here's Sapiku's base. This is his cart launcher. Sit in the cart and push forward. And off we go. So I don't have a skin. 
I'm still Steve, which is really silly, but I don't... I never figured out what I wanted to do. And blah, blah, blah. So, I'm still Steve. And if anyone has any suggestions for something I could do for my skin, let me know. I'd love to try to make it. I have the skin, a skin-making program that's super cool. I just don't have any ideas. Um... I also need to do rail in my tunnel. That's another project I should work on, so. Here we are. Suddenly so quiet. And this is Hipiku's base. We were here once before. I think I I showed it in a montage of me walking around. It's changed a lot since then. Now it's way up in the air. Like way above cloud light cloud height. Um he's got organization, he's got a bunch of chickens. We uh what we're doing right now is we're snooping. We're not trying to snoop, but we're snooping. Because I... He said that there's a desert nearby. What's this? Should I? Sure. Interesting. Secret. Inter I like that. Uh, he said there's a desert nearby. And what the heck is this? Just a hopper thing. Um... Trying to get down. Oh, can I just jump? It's just water. Ah, uh, that's ter. Oh, it's not all just water. Um. Oh, this is a perimeter for his witch farm. <laughs> I don't know how to get down. I feel like I should jump, but I'm really afraid. I feel I like I'd land on that. Oh god, alright, well. Assassin's Creed time, I guess. Uh... Here we go. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh. oh, that was high. Okay. So, he said it's, um... It's in the opposite direction of the jungle, away from the witch farm. So I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna find the desert. And when I find the desert, I will be back, and we'll start digging. Get out of here. Oh boy. That was a lot harder to find than I thought, but <clears throat> we're at the desert. And that means time... Well, we're gonna run out. So this is we're, we're playing in XL biomes. Of course, there's a river. Um, of course, there's a river. So the the point of the desert is to avoid water, <clears throat> because what happens? How the there's no squid here, right? No. Um. Because you want all the squids spawning in the area to spawn in your spawner. You don't want them to spawn in nearby water. So the idea is to do it in the middle of a desert, so that doesn't matter. So you don't, because if you don't do that, then what you have to do instead is run around and fill in water, water all over the place. What is this? What is, this is weird. Is this a... Oh, there's a village over there. Wait, before we... Before we, uh... Explore that, we gotta... Before we start digging, we gotta check out this village. Oh. Ha 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 You're just people. Uh the zombies are here. This is a bad time to be in a village for me. Oh boy. Ha 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 Huh. 
This is pretty, actually, really funny. Well, that's, that's a lost cause. Oh, I have thorns, that's why. I was like, why are these enemies hurt dying, getting hit every time they hit me? I forgot I have thorns. Oh no, that was a huge mistake. Oh, and this is some terrible lag with creepers off in the distance. Oh no. I'm just trying to build a, a farm. I don't want to do this right now. Man. I forgot to bring a bed. That's a huge mistake. Huge mistake. I think we're gonna do it here. We're gonna do it here. We're gonna use this water. So I'm gonna make a torch perimeter. Just to not be as scared of everything. I'm just gonna do that wall running away from mobs. Which isn't the, my favorite thing to do. Holy crap, I am surrounded. This is terrible. Oh, there's creepers everywhere. They're like teleporting towards me. Right now I'm filling in this water. Cause I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fill it in and then this is gonna be the spot that I build. That I build at. Um So I forgot to bring a bed, so what I had to do was log until morning. So I logged off. And I was panicking so much I forgot to talk. So I just kind of like, like on the video. So I don't even have video footage of me saying like, all right, I gotta log until morning and then see what happens. It's just like, all of a sudden, I'm just like running around shooting monsters, not even thinking about what I'm doing. And then all of a sudden I log out. And now I'm here. So what I need to do is I need to fill in this water. And then I need to build it. A 10 by 10. Um, I need to build a 10 by 10 box. 10 by 10 wide. Or mark out a 10 by 10 area and then dig it down and then put on the hoppers on the ground. So I'm going to do this water thing and then I'll be back and see what happens after that. Well, I was going to make a time lapse of that, but it wasn't as interesting as I hoped. And I had to log for nighttime again because I'm silly, silly, silly and didn't bring a bed. So. So. There's all this dirt on the ground, which is weird because I had space when I got here. Let me collect it. Let's kill the zombie. Um, okay, so I think we're ready to go. So we need to build a 10 by 10, 10 by 10, um, outline. So starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's a 10 by 10, wait, one, two, three, four. But the space needs to be 10 by 10 in the middle, so... Actually, does that mean the outside has to be 12 by 12? One... Oh boy. Oh boy. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and... No! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, so this is the frame. Okay. One, two, three... Five, six, seven, nine, ten, and then one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that should line up, yeah. Alright, so this is our pit. This is our squid pit. The next thing we need to do, where are, what level are we at? 63. 
I need to check my documentation. All right, this strikes me as really dangerous, but I've got my pit dug. It has no roof. Maybe I should, I, I am not tall enough to make a roof, right? No, no. But we're gonna try to be safe here. Okay, so, oh, we, had a pill. we gotta leave. <laughs> So this is 10 by 10 in here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now the next thing we have to do. Really, I picked the one place with the... So the next thing we have to do now. We're not surrounded by mobs, that's good. Is, um, is put down the hopper floor. And we take out the hoppers. And then cover them in half slabs. So I'll take out the half slabs. And then maybe I'll put a ceiling on this for now. Do I have enough dirt? I really don't want to attack the zombie because then he's going to call his buddies. So we're just going to play ring around the pit with him. Oh, and his, oh there they are. All right, never mind. Come on in. Come on down. Come on down. This is gonna be horrible. I'm in a pit with I'm in a pit that's just gonna zombies are just gonna rain on my head until it gets laid out. Whatever. That's fine. Gotta clear out one more layer of floor. <laughs> Hello X. Oh, I'm currently doing something. This is so stupid. Oh my god. Um, what's go? Oh my god. This is we have the apocalypse down here. I didn't. My water is. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, my ceiling is killing me. Holy crap. Wait, where? No, no, no. Okay. Well, we're not gonna, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work at all. We're gonna, we're gonna eat and heal and log, I guess. So, I, uh, I got confused and I got frustrated. <laughs> I got confused and frustrated and I decided, forget these zombies, I'm gonna build a roof. So now I'm inside the spawner where the squids will die. I'm in the squid death zone, but I should be fine from mobs. I think I have enough torches. Okay, so what we need to do now is place hoppers in the dirt, all pointing towards the, um, the chest. So these hoppers are all gonna go into this chest. This is my second take, second try at recording this because I couldn't figure out how to get hoppers to work. So, I had to ask and X-Man thankfully explained it. You hold shift and click the block you want them to point to to get them to point somewhere. So now, these hoppers are all gonna point to the chest, and that means that anywhere a squid dies, the ink sack is gonna go in the hopper, and then the hopper is gonna make it flow to the chest. That's the idea. I just almost panicked because I ran out of hoppers, but I, my math is exact. 10 times 10 is 100. I brought 100, so. Unless something really wacky happens, we should have the right amount of hoppers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is beautiful. So in theory, you could drop anything anywhere, like that shovel, and it'll end up in the chest. I, or in your, in, wait. Oh no. Okay, eventually, whew, eventually it'll end up in the chest, which is fine, there's no hurry. It's gotta find its way there. 
Yeah, okay, cool. That works. That works. Part one works. Part two is to cover this floor in half slabs. So that's next. So I'm going to do that now, and I will be back with you when that's done. Okay. There's the half slabs. And that's lovely. That looks lovely. So because they're half slabs on top of... Because they're half slabs, they don't block... These are all the things that I dropped while I was doing it. Because they're half slabs, they don't block the hoppers. That's the idea. Um, and these glass... I don't know. JL did it in his build, and I kind of liked it. It was cool. You could see them flow to the chest. I actually have to leave these because I can't. I, I need to get in the chest and test things. So next is the pillars. And the pillars are really important. Whoa, that was a lot of lag. Um, because, is this right? That doesn't make sense. The pillars are important. Should the half slabs have been up one? Will they still work that way? If they're on this half instead, does that still work? No. Yes, there is. Okay. So, obviously I can't jump place this. I'm confused. Because <laughs> I don't remember this looking like that with the, the shadows. So I'm gonna... Um, and no, that doesn't make sense. I gotta check all crap. Well, I remembered right in that I was remembering wrong. It's, um, half slab, uh, the pillars are half slabs, the pillars are half slabs, and then there's a half slab underneath them, um, under, words, there's a half slab underneath the pillars, so, um, so yeah, this is what, so this is the pattern, it's um two up one over two up one over two up one over and etc. Uh, and then it's also two over one down. It it kind of basically what happens is oh wait it makes uh ah it makes a bunch of squares basically um it makes a bunch of squares there should be four in but yeah okay before in between that's fine this looks about right this looks right to me there's a bunch of squares see with like a pillar touching each side so what's gonna happen is the squid and now I need to make these pillars and then do some other stuff that I have to look up again basically the idea is that the pill you make a pillar um, oh I'm gonna need to do some other stuff first before I go all the way up um, you make a pillar and you make water sources that flow down and the squids spawn in these squares and then get sucked down and then die in the lava. There's going to be lava down here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is something like this. Not that. I know I'm going to have to do I know I'm going to have to do this at least. I think and I need signs and all those. I'm going to need signs there. Um And lava, so I really hope I don't fall. I probably should have brought a fire protection now that I think about it. It's going to be really dangerous. It didn't occur to me. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to make sure I know how to do the signs in the lava placement. And I'll be right back. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to make all these pillars too high. This is the, this is the thing. All these pillars need to be... Okay, and we need to not do that because we can't get back up. We need to especially not do that when there's going to be lava everywhere. Watching someone do this in creative is so much less scary. So there's going to there's gonna be a whole pack of zombies right above me, and that's fine. That's fine. I, um, I totally don't mind being scared by zombies. All right. Let's put our... So we need to flood this with lava, right? 
It's annoying to get that much lava. But wait. We have some lava. And let's keep our water and this is going to be really important. So, I have all my expensive stuff on. This is not well thought out. Let's see here. Going to have we got a chest. We have a chest down here. Let's go in this chest. And let's put everything valuable. Everything valuable on me. I have ender pearls. That's good. So I'm going to put... I'm just going to fill up my inventory with lava and water. And potatoes. Because I'm getting hungry. Potatoes. Okay. We got ender pearls. I got pillar. And then we got lava. If I had just brought fire protection potion, I have one too in my base. This would have been so easy. But I didn't do that. So we're going to risk burning our little footsies. I'm going to put everything, everything away. Because if I fall and die, I don't want to lose all these, these things. And it's very likely that I'm going to fall and die. So... Here goes nothing. Now normally this would be a perfect time for me to cut away, but I have a feeling this is going to be too suspenseful. So I'm just going to leave this rolling. Because... Wait, let me knock out all the torches at the bottom. Okay. And here we go with lava... With deadly lava parkour. Oh my god. I'm so afraid. Oh no, that's not right. So basically what has to happen is the lava just has to be touching every every block on the floor. That's what we need. Um, it doesn't need to be flowing everywhere. It just needs to be touching it so that the squid get hurt. We're just looking to hurt the squid. Okay, okay, that's a start. That's a start. We got we got our lava. Let me just take all the buckets. This is really I'm really this is very stressful. Okay. Okay. We're going, we're going. We're filling in lava. Filling in lava. Those are good. This is good. Looking good. Looking good. There needs to be some more there. Okay, and some more here. Oh my god. This is so scary. This is so scary! This is so scary. Come on. Okay. Oh, I think that's it. I think everything is good. I think the whole floor is touching. I think... I think every piece of the floor is lava, which is both good and bad. Good, because that's what we wanted. It. Oh, I just almost just missed that jump. Oh, 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 oh. There's one missing over there. I gotta go back across the terrifying field. Okay. We did it. We did that part. Well, let's get back here first. Okay. Okay. That doesn't need to be lava. That's... Oh, one more. One more. And lava. Okay. The whole floor is lava. Now... We need to put a sign on every side of every pillar. And this is going to be slow, but steady. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be slow and steady, and also, editing a sign unshifts you. So, every time I do a sign, I'm not going to be shifted anymore. 
And I have to remember that every time. And if I don't, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot to shift. Oh, and I just, my heart just leapt into my mouth, and that was one of the, that was one of the only genuine gasps I've ever gasped in my life. So, I think, I think I did it. And it's really important that I figure out whether I think I did it or I just did it, because if I didn't just, if I, if I only think, then I just made a really complicated, dangerous cobblestone generator, because we're going to dump, the reason for the signs is that when we dump water, the water has to not put the lava out. So, it looks to me like we're good. Um... So that's awesome. Next up is, um, let me get my shovel. And I need to finish the pillars. And then I need to dump water everywhere. So I need to bring these water buckets and all these empty buckets so that we can make, I'm gonna make an infinite spring up there and then do a whole bunch of water. All right, so our next task is to pillar up to 63. I already have this layer of dirt at 63. That's the next thing I'm supposed to do. It's, oh my god, the music is so loud. Holy crap. I like the music, but that's ridiculous. I can't hear myself think. Okay, so this is the outer perimeter. And this needs to be higher first because I need to basically what I'm doing I'm really actually quite close to being finished the hard part well one of the hard parts it's basically all hard parts but the hardest part I think I'm done with now this is the second hardest part which is just as hard and scary as the first hard part but that's fine that's fine um, basically Oh, Jesus. So basically, what we have to do... Is I have to build up the pillars to this level, to, to 63. Um, I'm just gonna just jump in, right? Yeah. I have to build up the pillars to 63. And... Then there's dirt with them, so... If I go up, up over that should be a pillar right yeah and then up up over and then up up over and then up up over these should all be pillars um so what what i want to be doing here is that's so i want to make the basically i need to raise up the pillars and up, 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 over. No. It's up, up, over. Oh, and that. No, 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 that's not right. And then from there, up, 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 back. So this should be a pillar. Cool. Um. And then this should be a pillar. Nope. Um. This? Nope. Wait. Where? Okay. Well, I'm... What about here? What about here? Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. Up, up, over. We found it again. Yeah, that's right. There, and there, and there. That's perfect. And then this should be... Up, 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 back. That should be a pillar. And up, up, over. No, no, up, over. Yeah. <clears throat> and then up, up, over. I think that's all of them. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to jump down here like an idiot 18 more times. And ah, raise these pillars up to... Nah. Um, 
raise these pillars up to this level. Basically is what we're doing. And really, I should be doing a smarter, yeah, is like this. Jump, do that jump as few times as possible. Oh, I need a fixed crap. I gotta go down there and do that, but... <clears throat> Um, basically, I'm pillaring up to the top, and then the next thing I'm going to do after that is, oh, no, I can't, I can do those from up there, I think. No, that's not right. Uh, um, <clears throat> oh, and cobble is not the fastest thing to destroy by hand. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm raising these pillars up to the level of this. Then I'm gonna flood that with water. Flood up here with water. Can I place down? Nope. Of course not. But the, the drop isn't as terrifying. Um, do this one. Um, okay, need more cobble. Uh, uh, uh. This is not. This isn't fun. I'm not having any fun. I don't like adrenaline. This is just not. Oh god. Um, I can't even speak speak straight. So we're billering these things up here, and then we're gonna flood this with water. And then after we flood this with water, then we're gonna knock out all this this dirt. And the water's gonna flow down and get trapped by the signs. And then the squid are gonna spawn in the little boxes. Next. Infinite spring. And let me get all those lava buckets. There's empty buckets. Where are they? Oh, they're in my inventory already. Get all those empty buckets from the lava. And log out. Never mind. Logging out. And there's the burning monsters. Whoa, that sounds... Oh, that was that guy. It sounded way close. Am I double safe up here? No, not from every direction. Nope, totally not safe. Um... Where's our, there's our infinite spring. I really, now, in hindsight, wish that I built this with glass walls so that I could see if it worked. Um, but it's okay. So, we need, we're going to need a lot of water. Because basically what we need to do is make the whole top layer here into source blocks. So, now this is a little less scary. We need to flood this. So that it turns to source blocks. Probably gonna have to make a couple a couple trips back to the well, which is fine. That's fine. Oh wait. Or not. Aha! It worked. Sweet. So now I gotta do this. 